Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Tuesday, June 2nd, July 2nd, our scripture is from the ninth chapter of 2 Corinthians, verses 1 through 5. Now it is not necessary for me to write you about the ministry to the saints. For I know your eagerness, which is the subject of my boasting about you to the people of Macedonia, saying that Acacia has been ready since last year, and your zeal has stirred up most of them. But I am sending the brothers in order that our boasting about you may not prove to have been empty in this case, so that you may be ready, as I said you would be. Otherwise, if some Macedonians come with me, and find that you are not ready, we would be humiliated to say nothing of you in this undertaking. So I thought it necessary to urge the brothers to go ahead to you and arrange in advance for this bountiful gift that you have promised so that it may be ready as a voluntary gift and not as extortion. A real gift from you. This bountiful gift that you have promised. Verse 5. Giving gifts is a natural human expression of love. You may know someone with a knack for finding just the right gift for any occasion, whether it is purchased, made by hand, or composed of words or song. But giving can also be hard. It requires a sacrifice a laying aside of treasures or time in a world of perceived scarcity. And in times when bills mount and reserves are depleted, conventional wisdom says it's time to turn off the spigot and start saving for yourselves. Paul acknowledges this underlying tension. He expresses fear that the Corinthians will not follow through on this bountiful gift that they have promised. And we will miss out the op on the opportunity to share abundantly in every good work. Verse 8. Paul's words remind us that we give not out of duty, but because of the surprise and surpassing grace of God. Grace we don't need to hold. When we remember the gifts of God that has given us, we can respond to God by giving freely to others. Our prayer. God of abundance, you give more than we can fathom. Help us to share that love. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.